So I decided to do this video just kind of a quick tip and a suggestion just to kind of help you guys who are building computers. I'm guilty of this sometimes as I get complacent and I make this mistake and I get a new computer or I build a customer's computer and the first thing I do is pop in the CPU, memory, motherboard, everything, pop it all in the case, wire it up, do a whole bunch of cable management and then a couple hours later turn it on and it either doesn't power on, I get no video, no screen, error codes, whatever thing doesn't run and then i have to take it all apart rip it out which is a nightmare sometimes and just go one by one when you get a new motherboard and cpu or building your computer the first thing you need to do is take out the motherboard pop in the cpu pop in a cheap cooler whatever one you can find right over here a video card some memory and see if it posts see if it goes into the bios so let's go ahead let's take this thing out of the box and this is our rg crosshair 8 here wi-fi and let me show you what I do before I pop it into a case. Now, when unboxing a new motherboard, I don't pull the peels of the plastics until I make sure it works. Now, this thing from uh, Asus, the way they do this, pretty nice. Welcome to the Republic. I don't know if it's Star Wars or Asus, but whatever. And I kind of miss the fact that they don't put that whole um, bags like they used to. And let's pop our motherboard right over here. So now we got the motherboard out over here and we have our CPU 5950X. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop this in. But a few things that we're going to do first. Number one, I'm going to be using AIO, but I'm not going to set up the AIO on over here. One thing I do keep lying around is the cheap... Um, stock coolers that come with the lower end AMD ones uh, you could do the same thing for Intel because all we're doing is is powering this thing on and making sure it posts and it goes into the bios once we have that then we could go ahead and put all our cool stuff reapply first thermal paste and all that stuff um, depending on how far you want to go this could be the time to pop uh, pop in your m.2 all your memory slots in in I typically just put the CPU uh, two sticks of memory in there a cheap cooler power supply get into the bios and we're good so let's go ahead and do that first thing I need to take these mounts off over here because well this cooler doesn't use that but you gotta also make sure that you keep the back plate over here because the back plate is what that cooler will mount into now before we put the CPU in make sure you line up the notch if you look right over here on the top left corner doesn't know don't know if that comes in on the camera you'll see kind of a triangle which kind of matches that little triangle over here on the top left so we want to make sure that our CPU pops in just like that if it doesn't go in don't force it just kind of set it wiggle it and once you see that it's sitting and there's no gap right over there just go ahead push this lever down and you're done so now I'm just gonna put the cooler on there I'm not gonna apply thermal paste like I said I'm not gonna stress test this all we're doing is just making sure this post so let's go ahead let's pop this in right over here Now, if this was the cooler that you were going to use, this is actually the time to put your thermal paste in there and just really get it set up. And it's easier if you're going to be doing it with an air cool. Make sure our fan pin goes into the CPU one, which it varies depending on mother on motherboards. Ours is actually the middle one over here, so that's fine. If not, you'll get that error. I'm just going to pop in two memory sticks. You can pop in four, but if there's an issue, then that's more stuff that you just kind of have to remove to diagnose and troubleshoot. And of course, I put the memory backwards. And that pretty much takes care of that. We got a memory and we got our CPU in. Now this graph, now this CPU does not have integrated graphics. So we're gonna need a graphics card. Now I have this just old 750 Ti. It doesn't require any supplemental power. So we could just pop that in and that way we could get our display. So now let's wire up our power supply. For the power supply, pretty much just use whatever you're gonna use, whether it's one that you have lying around, just make sure it's enough decent to power up that 5950X. We're gonna need our 24 pin. This motherboard has the eight pin and a four pin. So we're just gonna go ahead and plug these in and that should be enough to fire it up.
Now, as far as turning it on, you got two options. Number one, you can short out the two pins for the power switch to short them out with a screwdriver. That is the most typical way. I keep one of these buttons lying around and I just kind of like using it that way. And we're just gonna find the power button, which I believe is gonna be the bottom two over here. Let's see, HD LED. Actually, I think it's the one right over here, which I'm sure you can't see it, but just find the power button, plug that one in. And there we go. So now we just need to plug in our HDMI port, our power supply, and then we'll see if this thing posts. All right, and another thing I forget to mention, uh, keyboard. I use one of these, it's a mouse keyboard duo type deal. Um, wireless, I just plug in the USB dongle into the back over here, and that's pretty much good to go. So I see that we have power because this whole RGB goodness is shining pretty over here. So let's go ahead, hit the power button and cross our fingers. Now this could take a while because it has to cycle through it, check the memory, all that good stuff, and kind of do a self-configuration in my opinion. So this might take a little bit. Until then, you just kind of hit the DEL button, the delete button a million times and cross your fingers and wait anxiously, hoping that this thing boots up properly. And we got a boot, which is awesome. So now it's just telling me it just picked up a new processor, yeah, 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 all that stuff. Um, let's press yes or whatever. Just want to get into the BIOS. All right, so we're in. This is a good chance, depending on your BIOS, to check to see uh, if things are being picked up. Our Ryzen 9 5950X, perfect. It picked up our 36 or 32 gigs of DDR4 memory. Of course, our speeds are not where it needs to be, but we'll go ahead, we'll customize this and we'll tweak this. So we're good. So I don't have to flash any BIOS. The motherboard works, CPU works, memory is working fine. So now we're ready to go ahead and take this motherboard and pop it into this computer. So I just wanted this video to kind of show you a quick tip that we mostly overlook. If you're gonna build a new computer, this is my recommendation. Pop the motherboard on a bench just like this, motherboard box, you don't need a test bench. CPU, cheap CPU cooler, memory, some type of video card you have lying around, and just get it into the BIOS. Once you have this going, then you can rule out that this thing is working okay. Now, doesn't mean that it's gonna work perfectly, because once you put in Windows and put some loads on it, if there's an issue, that's when it's gonna show up, but at least you have the basic foundation to go ahead, build your computer, and just kind of troubleshoot from there if an issue arises later. So hope this video helps. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see what we come up with next.